here PC TV and we are at cars and brunch I tried going live but we just don't have enough uh, horsepower here to make this thing work so let's just start walking the show we've got Trisha Bell's beautiful custom 2022 pickup that's made especially for her we got cars firing up already sounds like the uh, Shelby's already leaving It's a different one. Wow. They look so much alike, but yeah. This is looking more like a factory five. Yeah, I would guess this is a factory five versus super performance. You can really tell the difference between the cars when you put them kind of side by side. So great looking car. Of course, Mr. Rick Davenport's here. This beautiful car. It's El Camino 67. Yes. Come on, Rick. How are you? Of course, this beautiful wing can. Paige, what's hey, up? Hey, baby, We're how are you, honey? Good. How are you doing? Don't forget, my Shelby's taking off right here. Oh, yeah. I was just uh, looking at the other one next to it, and I think this is the one that I was in love with. I think that's How's right. it? He's looking at your car, baby. You're on camera. Oh, yeah, we had last week, too. This is the car. Yeah, the difference between this, the Factory 5 and the Super Performance, you can just tell immediately. <laughs> It's a 1969. It is a 912. That's what I thought the moment I saw it. It's a 912. Look at that original black plate. What do you think of that one, Trevor? Pretty okay. cool. And there's our buddy from Lido Peninsula and his thing. And let's take a swing over here. 57 Bel Air. Gorgeous car. Nice orange. Two tone white. Original is the style interior. Oh, no. Yeah, this interior looks very original on this car. Because, you know, it just. Sweet. There you go. Seven. Let's walk over here and let's, look, let's see what DWS brought in. This, uh, they got busy pretty quick on. Turn this one around real quick. Panel looks great, Darren. Thanks, dude. Look at this. 327, you said, or was it 350? I'm not sure the engine size. He told me what it was and I forgot. But yeah, this has been freshly painted, all the interior work done. If you'd seen this thing a month or so ago, you would have been shocked. And it's just really top notch and just done really, really well. So, like the Steelys on it with the cross flags. There's black plate. Looking pretty original back here. Still got all the original flooring and everything. I gotta get away from Sublime. But yeah, look at this truck overall. Really sweet, and you know, they're for sale. They was our. Oh, he's got the billet hinges on it. There you go. Check out the billet hinges. Done some trick stuff under here. Underneath the engine. Beautiful engine compartment. Nice standard small block Chevy. And there you go. This is from Darren. Check out this MGA 58. 
It's for sale as well. White on red, looking very, it's actually more of an ivory. And it's looking very good. And this is another one that's for sale out here today. Didn't bring the white truck because I got a bunch of work to do on it. So didn't feel like bringing it out. Oh, he's got a blue plate on it. I like the A's. I used to be able to fit in them. There you go. It's asking 19.5 for it. There's the phone number. Give him a call. There's another look at that uh, 57 from the front. There's my boy Trevor. I can make an ocean Oh, yeah. yeah, great car. Coming back. So let's walk on down. Yeah, yeah. Five, you know. yeah. I'm more yeah. comfortable coming through traffic, getting through. Again, there's that thing. 74 Jensen Healy. Now these cars are pretty rare. They they made them, but they didn't last. They didn't last too long. They didn't stick around for very long. But you see them once in a while. And this car looks very correct. Yeah, it's even got the, the old school uh, wrap steering wheel cover we used to put on all our cars when we were kids. Now over here we've got a, a vet. I'm guessing it's about a 90s vintage. I'm not real good with these. It says it's 6.2, which I'm having a, I don't know if it's a big walk or not, but the TPI is was a very, I thought it was a good looking engine. It's kind of gone the way of the, the dinosaur here, but actually I had a TPI set up for my 71 truck and I've gone away from that. Unfortunately, my motor is still built for a TPI, so I have to recam it, do a few things. Here's the interior. Getting very clean. Looks very original. There you go. The Frankentens here. Brought that today. Still rolling. We've got a Rivy coming in. 74 C10. Of course, Dan Alive, as you know, always dedicated and on PCTV. But yeah, this is my old uh, 74 C10 that I just beat to death. And then right across the back here, again, Rick Davenport. Looking good. And then, of course, the Cadillac. Cadillac Lincoln. You know. Good morning. Good morning, darling. Hiya, hiya. Good, how are you, Love Bug? Doing great. Yeah, like I had a rough week, but I'm feeling better, so I'm back up and around. Just be careful, Love Bug. Yep, thank you. All right, here's that 59 Impala. I mean, 60 Impala. God, I'm not on my game today. And uh, got to get away from the music, unfortunately. And then we've got a, appears to be a super, actually, it's a Factory 5, I believe. Cobra, I could be wrong, though. 427. <laughs> Nice emulation. We got a Viper over here. Interesting thing about the Vipers, they were all hand built. If you guys didn't know that, these were 100% hand built cars in the Mitsubishi factory. And it was fun to look at. And, uh, you know, they're, they're quite a car for their day. And we got a 64 right here. Oops. Beautiful 65 El Camino. Looking good. Morning, guys. Nice steelies. Looks like my rallies on the white truck. LS3 converted. Super, super clean. Right next to it, we got Gary Gunslinger. In his 56, big window, 3100. And there's the tail of that Mad Wagon Bel Air. Hey, it's even set up with a receiver on it. There's a Rivy that just rolled in. Black. Craig SS's. Yeah, Doing good. Looking good. I'm new around this area. We got our host here. Well, I live in Nike Beach, but I'm from Norwalk. That's LA area. Pop 65. How are you doing? Not too bad. Not too bad. Nice Ruby. Good morning. Good morning. We need to uh, take a look at the. We're going to have an all girls car show coming up here pretty soon in June. Yes. That's okay, cool. I'll be here. Okay. Let's um, take a look at it. I'm going to find my wife. She can tell you what day it is. Okay. I'll call them all day. This was uh, my dad's car. He bought it when he was 17. Tom Marillo. And, uh, and the 65 is, of course, the best year and my favorite year of all uh, the Rivies. Yeah, so he so. Uh, had it. It was the car I grew up in. I grew up in the back, touching the windows. And because it was supposed to be getting burnt by the by the, um, the cigarette lighter. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, 
it's a garage gym for a while. And I'm the oldest, and then I have a younger sister and a younger brother. And uh, he, my, he gave it to my younger brother because he's the boy. Mm. So um, my brother had it for a while. It had it, and uh, he was at car clubs with our family and stuff. And last year, uh, my mom and my brother car. passed away from COVID. Oh. No. oh. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry there. to hear that. And so, yeah, it's been a, it's been a rough rough year, but yeah. Um, so my dad made a decision to give it to me, so it's mine now. Oh, I know you. I, I, I went to, I brought my dad, I don't know if you were there, well, from uh, Surf City Classics. Yeah, when, which day? Oh, it was a couple of months ago. We, yeah, I yeah. My dad. yeah, 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 he yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, yeah, I usually do all the shooting, so yeah. do all the video and stuff. Yeah, it's cool. What was your name again? Liz, Elizabeth. I'm Patrick. Nice to meet you. I brought my son Trevor. Hi, Trevor. So, love the car. Thank you. And so I think it means I a lot to me. Sorry, sorry. Yes. And that's Absolutely. my mom and my brother. I, I, I bring them with me everywhere I go. Oh, it's been. I mean, it's an honor to have it that my dad gave it to me, but I haven't really been driving it much, you know. Like, yeah. But I, I'm starting to get out a little bit. I've been coming down here. I went to the donuts thing, and then I went to that cruise, um, and I've been hearing about this one. So I said, I'm it's hungry. fun. It's a good place, and you know, it's always great for a good breakfast. So I'm hungry. Yeah, there you go. We're gonna have breakfast burrito here, man. That's where we're gonna go finish up our shoot and our walk. And it sure is great to see you. It's great to see you too. Thank and I'm uh, glad so you brought the beautiful car. 65 Rivia is my number one Rivia of all time. It is the one. So oh, thank you, you got so the much. best. All right, take care. Bye. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and finish up. And uh, let's finish this one up. Let's get a look at this Nova. I believe this is a 64. It's probably a 65. I'm terrible with my Novas. Yes. Yeah. I really am. Nice uh, silver with a rally stripe. Super clean. Gotta get away from the music. There we go. So yeah, it's a nice, nice car. I know one of the clear stickers. You don't see very many of those. Nice, nice motor setup. Very, very clean overall. All right, so let's take a look over the group here one more time. Here you go, cars and brunch, Sunday morning, Balboa Peninsula, the place to be. And again, thanks for watching PCTV, and we're getting close to that 1,000, and just love it. Take care, guys.